happy Monday. <laughs> How was your weekend? You ladies went to the polo and you looked so beautiful. Yeah. The polo was my first polo and I loved yeah. it. I love polo with a purpose and the pink polo is a perfect opportunity yeah. to get the conversation going about cancer and breast cancer more specifically. Yeah. And we see our hunky dudes. Ooh, Look at you. That's me and my tubsy wubsy. Look, I felt all the feels, all the row, you know, just really lush. <laughs> Lush yeah, and luxury. Luxury. Your hair looked amazing. You blonde boy made you that beautiful headpiece. Yes. I thought that was gorgeous. Very Absolutely can't yeah. yeah. He yeah, did gorgeous. his thing. And Simpiwe looked. The fashion was amazing. The fashion this year. was amazing. Yeah. I really, really didn't do it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. oh, there Zoe looks absolutely beautiful. I love the uh, the popping handbag. Yeah. But I'm really, really excited nice. that this year it really just went back to what the polo, the pink exactly. polo is really just about. Yeah. And everybody just focused on that and it just felt good. It felt good to be yeah. there and supporting that cause. Yeah. So today on the show we're going to be discussing making it in the modeling industry as a non conformative model. Marcel Hopkins is here, Sonelik uh, Nava is here, El van der Berg is here. All are three stunning models who are changing the face of the fashion industry as we know it. Yeah, and Alan Perrins and Mark Levendell from the Animal Welfare Society South Africa are in studio to give us tips on how to comfort our pets during the firework displays this festive season. And on this week's Mommy Monday edition, we chat to Dumsi Lendaba uh, from the Childline South Africa about keeping your children safe these holidays. Very important topics. Yeah, absolutely. Now, remember, you can join in on the conversation, and we love it when you do. Tell us how you help your child maintain healthy self-confidence levels. It's really important. And by tweeting us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon in Express or comment on our Facebook page. Exactly. Now, you may have seen their videos trending on social media, overloading with cuteness. Lindo Sitole and his son Vivaldo share some of the most adorable moments in their life, and we can't help but gush at their relationship. Yeah. Let's have a look at the day, life, uh, the day in the life of Lindo and Vivaldo, our favorite kid on the internet. <laughs> Why you bunker one go off on this issue system but not? Hang on, man. Where's when? Which way? Yeah. Why? Storming in South Africa. Storming. Storming in South Africa. To me, when I start to break, to me, when. Big whip, big wheel, or we tag, we tag. Ah. To me, let's start to break, when. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. I've officially dropped my ovaries. <laughs> yeah, me too. My ovaries are on fire today. Welcome to the loft. Thank you so much for having us. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, so bon Valdo. Hello, Valdo. <laughs> you don't want to talk to us right now, do you? I think he's got a crush, though. I think he's got a crush on Gene. Do you know, DJ Fresh has got a little boy about the, about his age, yeah. and he's got a huge crush on me. He just looks up at and then he comes once to me. My son next have to me crushes on you. So sweet. <laughs> so, I mean, we know you, obviously, as uh, as a musician from your, yes. your Quito days. Yes. So, I mean, are you still doing music, though? Yes, I'm still doing music. But you decided to cross over to the other side and become so famous online with these amazing Vivaldo <laughs> videos. How did it start? The way you're saying it, it's like I've planned it. <laughs> like I have a PR and say, OK, guys, let's do this. So that's a country. <laughs> OK, basically, I've been posting videos of Vivaldo and, and pictures like since he was at the age of what? Yeah. yeah, so I've got a lot of pictures and videos. Then this one day, there was this video that went viral. Like, it was just crazy. I'm like, what's happening? Yeah. You know? Yeah, and then people started uh, demanding videos. Like, we want to see more videos. We want to send us pictures. You know, and then, and now it's like, um, it's like a, a young series. It is. <laughs> that plays every morning. It is, but oh. your relationship is so real. It, I, I, you know, it's never put on, and it doesn't feel like you're doing it for for fame or for social yes. media. Just really such a genuine relationship. How did you guys get to be so close? Um, the thing is, like, uh, we've, we've, been, we've been together since he was, uh, like, one way, which was just me and him, you know? Yeah. So that's when the relationship starts. Even when I speak to him, I don't speak to him like a child. Like a child. Yeah, yeah. I speak to him like an adult. If he's doing a mistake, I'll speak to him like an adult. I won't, I won't raise my voice. I'll say, bruh. You mustn't do this. This is how you do this thing, yeah. you know. And he understands very well. Oh. But I think that's why when you hear him speak, he speaks with so much maturity as well. Yes. And definitely. he's got a great sense of humour. Where does that come from? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I think it's it's my character as well. 
He yeah. knows that I'm a fun person. I, yeah. I, I do jokes with him. We play around in the house. Like he treat me as his friend, his brother, his best friend. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. tell me about you, your suit game, because you guys' suit game is just lit. It's on point, eh? Right? Yeah, yeah. actually, they, there's a, a young team uh, called K4 Men. They make sure that wherever we go, we look posh. And that you have yeah. matching suits. Yes. Because you guys always dress the same, hey? We make sure. He's my best friend, this one. Yeah. Tuana, tuana. Well, <laughs> are you how many suits do you have? Una yeah. suit tanga ke ba maning. Mangaki. Maning. I five. <laughs> I five times 10. Ne? Yeah. <laughs> are you going to be a famous singer like your daddy one day? Are you can you already sing for us? You're going to sing with daddy, ne? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> so adorable. What, do, what has been the, the, the positive response online in terms of just your relationship? And obviously, yeah. we're trying to encourage young fathers to just show up and, and just be authentic and be real. But have, you, have you seen, like, a beautiful response or an impact that your relationship has had? Like, a lot. Them? Like, I, I usually get DM from people that I barely even know. Like, yo, bro, you inspire us to, to love our children even more. Like, the bond that you have with your kids. I get DMs from people from the US, the UK, oh, wow. Nigeria, wow. Tanzania. Like, it's, it's just too much. It's overwhelming. Wow. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it is. And, I mean, you do have such a fun life. I mean, you've traveled all over the world with your yeah. dancing and yes, with your yes, singing. Yes. And, I mean, what's, new, what's left for you to do? So, what's next? Um, what's next is to have the biggest song in the country yeah. and, and win awards. Yeah. I believe it will happen someday. Yeah. Well done, well Good for well you. We want that for well you as well. I think I can follow up on it. Thanks. I five. I think I have 50,000. I have How many man? 38,000. 38,000. Wow. And follow up. How many people do you follow? 10. <laughs> 10. <laughs> and then how does he choose the people that he likes to follow? Um, he doesn't choose. It's people that he knows in person. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's good. Like family, yes. Yes. That's quite crazy because, I mean, I know, with, you know, there's always this conversation online about people trying to protect their children online and not show them, and he's done the opposite, but it's really I, working for him. So it, there's it also... Is. Yeah. Yes, because even if we we at the mall, like people, they they get excited when they see him, and he's already used to it. That like, okay, there are people who are gonna act, uh, ask for pictures. He won't run away. He's really? he understand what's happening. Yes. What do you wish for him as an adult one day? Um, I wish for him to be a very responsible person, and like I, I want to be proud of him one day, and I want him to say, "Daddy, I'm proud. Thank you so much for being there for me." Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think he'll definitely say that it's so important to have, you know, every. I think these are the, the foundation years and the formative years. Everything mm. that ha happens in your life in the early years is what is going to impact you as an adult. Yeah, that's true. And I always tell people that whatever that's happening in my life right now, it's it's not something that I've planned, but it's God's plan. You know? Yeah. You cannot wake up in the morning and say, okay, I'm going to put a camera there and post videos, and definitely they, they will trend. Yeah. No, it's not like that. Yeah. But if it's anointed, it's going to be... Something wow, amazing to to people. Yeah, you know. Well, you're going to be performing for us in a little while. Are you ready to perform for us a little while later? You're going to dance <laughs> and sing for us. You are so <laughs> handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <laughs> He's acting all shy. Yeah, he's not shy. Samas <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bagwas not shy. Samas <laughs> Bagwas. <laughs> Why about Bagwas in South Africa? Oh, boom. A matching father and son duo, honestly, they're my favorite. Let me know on social media, who's your favorite father and son duo? Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. Now, after the break, we put together a delicious cheese board with Chef Clem. Plus, we meet non-conformative models, Marcel Hopkins, Sanile Baba, and Al van der Berg, who is going to be sharing some insider tips on how to make it in the modeling industry. If you want to be a model, definitely. Please stay tuned for that. Get ready. The face of cybercrime is changing. And so are we. We are smarter. We take charge. We are in control. We are brave. Innovative.
Our guests on Afternoon Express fly domestically with Mango. Enjoy outstanding service, online check-in and seat selection. With the widest booking and payment options, Mango is the only airline globally to accept store charge cards as a means of payment. Fly in comfort with ergonomically efficient seats for more legroom aboard a fleet of new generation Boeing 737-800 aircraft. Join the guests of Afternoon Express and fly Mango. Welcome back from the ad break and happy Monday and thank you for choosing Afternoon Express. Now when it comes to entertaining, there's nothing more classy and sophisticated than a cheese board. But they often seem too complicated to prepare yourself. Now today, Clem gives us the how-to guide on a DIY cheese board and he promises that it's the easiest thing to make and, you know, world's easy to put together. Chef it Clem, is. I love my cheese. Me too. But I'm not a cheese expert, so I do understand you were breaking it down earlier for me that there are different levels and mm -hmm. intensities that cheese comes Absolutely. in. Absolutely. I just but know there's good, better, and best. But at least you like cheese. I do. And that's a good place to start off with. Cheese boards seem complicated, but really it's not. It's about yeah. what you like and what flavors you complement, like the ingredients you're pairing it with for the day. Okay. I'm gonna Take you like a very, very easy guide to this one. But before I even start, if all of this okay. seems quite intimidating, it but does. that is I went to Woolies and they've done like all the work for us. They've actually got these like a ready prepared cheese selections for us. Look yeah. at this one, we've got like, I think this could be like a mature cheddar. Mm. They got a sweet version of it as well. I see some Philadelphia, is this Philadelphia yeah, cheese? Yeah, that's actually goat's cheese. Goat's cheese, Yeah, okay. which is nice and tangy, mm. very tangy, great. We'll talk about goat cheese another day. Okay. Probably. But I love goat cheese. I know cheese. you're a fan of goat's cheese. I love goat cheese. A lot of people find it too pungent. Yes. But eventually, again, it's all about training your palate, starting off by something as simple as a gouda or a cheddar, yes. working way all up. Levels. Okay, Levels. I'm going to definitely take this as my okay. training ground. Training ground go. to cheese. So we put this to the side there. You know what? This is for you. This is for you. You can take this one home. It's yeah. okay for you. Done and yeah. dusted. Perfect. Do that. I'm going to have that about tonight. What we got today? So I've basically got a principle when it comes to cheese. Okay. Something blue, right? Has to be blue cheese. Yeah. Something creamy. Okay. And then something like semi-hard, like either parmesan or cheddar or gouda, with a bit of like. Um, like a bit of a tang to it. Yeah. Cool. And playing with the different textures is also quite nice on your cheese board. So you're not Absolutely. coming have the same frequency and the mm -hmm. same textures. I like You that. want to create that sensory experience of eating cheese and it kind of like coats your mouth really well, like a creamy. Yes. But then you want to eat something sharp, like a cheddar, that it kind of dries your mouth a mm. bit, you know? It's all about 
like the mouthfeel. And the crackers, how, you know, the variation of different Let's get into crackers the crackers. Let's talk about the crackers. Mm. So really cool. Woolies had this amazing charcoal crackers over here. That's my made first with, time seeing those. Made with fermented garlic, so it's got a very nice, strong flavor. So I'll talk about it in a bit, but I would pray with something like this, like mm. a boil on blue, right? Quite strong and pungent. We go really well with that garlic and that charcoal grittiness. I think it goes so well. And earlier I was asking you that this is blue cheese, but it looks orange. It's orange, yeah. right? The blue is more referring to the vein that runs through the cheese. So this is a good example. Here's a, here's a dander blue okay. right over here. And you can actually see the veins yes. of the cheese. And that's all flavor. That's how the cheese matures. It's all about bacteria. And this is, this is good bacteria. Mm. So it lives inside the cheese. It's culture. And as it sits and it ages, it develops, it becomes a little strong. Just like people. Just like people. Just we like get people. better with age. There we go. Cool. So that's, that's a crackers. And I've got a low carb version of it. There's a seeded crackers. Okay, cool. Right? There's also low GI. Yeah, we'll I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do my research. I'll get back to you on that one. Okay. But then also something spicy. We've got an Arissa digestive biscuit. Mm. Again, spicy goes really well with something like a blue. Kind of adding the strongness, pungent of the blue cheese with okay. something spicy. I want to start assembling our cheese board yeah. now. Yeah, let's talk about start? the firm cheese. That's the easiest one that people understand that more. Yes. So we have got a vintage cheddar. It's six on the. Oh, let's talk about the number six. Yes. Willie's actually have labeled their cheeses when it comes to intensities. Let me find that it's got it quite clear. Actually, let's take this one. Yeah, that very one's clear. quite clear. You can see the number six over there, right? Yeah, and it's written so, very strong underneath. Yeah. So it's just very, it creates an amazing mouthfeel, quite sharp. So when you're buying cheese, a great idea is you're not just guessing. Yes. You can actually look for those numbers. The Dana Blue over here, it's got, um, it does have a four. number. There we go. Number four, medium strong. Look for those numbers. Use them as guidelines. I like that. Right, so Making it easier for us in the kitchen. So it's not a absolutely. guessing game. It's not a guessing game. So let's start with a mature cheddar because, like, like I said, cheddar is something we're more familiar with. Yes. I can pass it to you. Try mm -hmm. that. It's really mm -hmm. great. You'll see what I mean by the intensity. It's quite a different to the cheddars you're used to. Mm. It's amazing. It takes over your mouth. It's this is definitely not the cheddar my mom was putting no. in our salamis what? growing up. It's fine, yeah. I'll eat it and anyway I like, because I, like I love the cheese that, like that much. I like mm. that it broke. That's just an example of how dry it is. Yes. Yeah. Oh, totally. Okay, cool. So I there's like our that. something hard, okay? Mm. Medium hard. Then I've got our something creamy over here, which is our Chef traditional... Chef I've got a secret. I love this cheese Do because you? of the milky creaminess, but I don't know what it's called. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a camembert. Oh. It's a camembert. Okay, Cameron Bay, Cam there we go. Bay. So I like it. Also, very, you can smell that. It's mm. got a bit of a, a bit of attitude. Well, Cameron Bay can now be my bay. There we go. You can put I it on the board this. for us. Mm. Really great. Then that's our creamy done. Now we're going over to our blue. I'm okay. going to go with this boil of blue, which is absolutely my favorite right now. It looks I'm good. Open that up for you. And you can really smell can something's I give it a going whiff? on. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Chicken. Beautiful. I'm going to take the whole thing out. I'm not even going to be funny about it. Whole thing goes down. We're gonna need all of it. You're gonna need all of it. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So you've got your something blue, your something creamy, and your something firm. Okay. Perfect. You've got your beautiful crackers over there. And again, make it your own. If you like one cheese, present your one cheese on the board mm. and just have different crackers and preserves. Preserves, by the way. Here yeah. we go. It's done for you. And I don't want to be fussy with it. I actually want to serve it in these jars. Oh yeah, because it's quite yeah. well packaged. It really, really Very is. Very well. This one's ginger. Ginger goes really well again because it's in a syrup, nice and sweet. Uh -huh. Go really well with the, the blue cheese. Mm -hmm. Then we have got this one, a mixed berry. Mixed, mixed berry. berry, by the way, guys. We've also got a Wednesdaydale with, like, uh, it's got cranberries in there, a nice sweet option. I like that. I like yeah. that for dessert. That's a nice dessert Absolutely. cheese. Absolutely. Beautiful. We're actually going to pair it with some fresh berries just sprinkled over the top. Right a nice there. coolie made of strawberries. We are winning. We are winning. Chef Clem, who knew that making a cheese board could be this easy? So whilst me and Chef Clem dig in on the cheese, we're going to let Bonnie and Jeannie handle the models. <laughs> Growing up, we are told that it's okay to look different. But rather than just making peace with not fitting society's ideal form of beauty, today's guests took their differences in their stride. Now, all three of our guests have realized that it was, in fact, their differences that made them beautiful and have all made successful careers as models. And today, they join us to share their stories of how they got to where they are, how they learned to love just who they are. Welcome, Welcome to the to love. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> so, you know, sitting here looking at you, I mean, the, the first thing that comes to mind for me is not that you're different, it's just that you're beautiful. Oh, and, 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 that's, and for me, beauty is an atmosphere, it's, a, it's an experience. You look yeah. at something and it hits you, and it's just a truth yeah. about something. Mm -hmm. But obviously, I, mean, I've, I modeled years ago, and I, and I remember modeling was such a, an insecure space for me because mm -hmm. I found that. When you spend that much time focusing on how you look yeah. like, you actually eventually do become insecure. Yeah. So you're actually having to to marry this this that and the the fact that people do think you're different. And how's that journey been for each of you? Well, I think it's been like really interesting to try and kind of reconstitute people's perceptions of like my community. So being transgender, it's a lot of trying to get people to understand that we're just like everyone else. 
how we got to being ourselves is completely different, but everyone's on a continuous journey and ours is as valid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like changing narratives also, just to, um, people have this preconceived idea that this is how beauty is supposed to be, but I feel like, I mean, our roles in the industry is to change that, how people um, look at that, that, you know, people come in different shapes and sizes, mm -hmm. and I feel like if we just, um, I mean, I mean, the industry is already playing a good role in that, and people are starting to see differently and, and expressing beauty in a, <clears throat> in a very unique manner. Yeah. 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 It was quite challenging coming from a beauty pageant background with Miss South Africa mm -hmm. to then go back to my natural shape, with, which isn't that small and skinny as I was from Miss South Africa. Mm -hmm. So it was a difficult transition to go back into my normal natural size 14 body. And you have a lot of insecurities in the acceptance journey. Mm -hmm. But after, after, with time, it gets a lot better. You know, I feel that the modeling uh, in, industry and the advertising industry, I suppose, yeah. Back then, when I, you know, started off modelling and acting, mm. was exclusive. You had to, you, you mm. weren't allowed to look like anyone else. You had to be that exclusive person that was completely just, you know, perfect. Mm. And nowadays, it's very, it's inclusive now that yes. I think everybody mm. that has un their unique look and has a little quirk about them, like the ginger girl with a gap in her teeth. I mean, that's sexy. That's now intriguing yeah. and interesting. Mm. But. I mean, how do we keep that, you know, staying? You know, how do we keep it relevant how do we all make the time? It the status quo. Yeah, 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 exactly. As opposed to just like tokenism, what we were discussing earlier. Yeah. Well, it just, I mean, like like you said, with the advertising and industry, I've noticed that, um, you know, there's, I'm going to say, regarding albinism. So I do a lot of albinism awareness projects, and I just realized that um, I would normally pop up when it's just a, you know, when. Um, when they want to use a sporadic look. And I wouldn't get costed if, um, you know, they want to cost for a black guy for um, an alcohol beverage or whatever. Mm. I would just have, I'll have to stick to the sporadic look. And I, or avant-garde. Or, or avant-garde, yeah. or like having cable ties around my neck or whatever. But, you know, it's, it's um, <laughs> but I, I feel like you. just yeah, for yeah. The, um, the, like, I, went, I started when I was 15. And um, since I've, I've um, you know, grown older, I've realized how, the industry has become more accepting. I'm able to do um, really mainstream jobs um, that is more yeah. com co sort of commercial. You can just sell jeans. Um, yeah. I, uh, I, you know, I, I, yeah. I do a lot of, um, I, mean, I shouldn't mention size. any com companies, but you know, it's a lot of, yeah. it's more accepting now. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, you still have a long way to go, but I feel like, um, you know, it's very, it's really important to um, highlight that you know we all come in different hues, and not only just to say like oh because it's um, he he looks he's really pale or whatever now we need to use him in X Y and Z, but also to um, use that to say that okay cool, we all come in different hues and you know representation is really important mm -hmm. and sure. it um, helps with um, self esteem to. Mm -hmm. um, the masses. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think that our industry can do a lot better though. So mm, I'm like true. one of the only trans models working in South Africa at the moment. And I feel like I'm also coming from a position of privilege because I appeal to society's idea of femininity. And for me, it's about mm. like breaking gender down completely and like getting mm. people that aren't kind of appealing to someone's idea of what being feminine is or masculine mm. is and kind of just reconstructing that holistically. Um, it's really exciting though because I feel like that shift is coming. I just wish it was coming more than from one place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. I have to say, Marcel, like you uh, were in Miss South Africa and you had lost 14 kilograms in like three months or something ridiculous to become. And actually, scrolling through your Instagram, I find it so refreshing when I see, and I mean, you by no means. A, a big girl. I mean, you're gorgeous and very sexy. And I just find when, when you, the minute you do see something a little bit more wholesome and curvier and so beautiful and people with a little bit, I think it's, it, it's, it just adds more texture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just well, makes it so much more real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And it also just opens up our perspective. Of, yeah. You mm -hmm. know, it's like yeah. because beauty or beauty magazines or the media has always narrowed the yeah. meaning of beauty. And now, when, you, when you're constantly being challenged to open up your perspective, you consume product in a very yeah. different way. Mm -hmm. you, you know? I've got this, I was at, at this party and I've got this 
friend who is unbelievable and she films herself doing yoga but like her body can bend and move in the most unbelievable ways and I said to my one friend oh you've got to follow her on, on Instagram and see what she does and my one girlfriend said that is the reason why I'm not on Instagram <laughs> just because this image of what's perfect yeah. yes. but actually the more we see of what's different mm. is what's going to make people more accepting of themselves yeah. 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 It's, like, it's like a field of, of sunflowers I mean like a field of sunflowers is really cool but like Another field with like dandelions and roses, you know, yeah. it's, it's, in, it's, more be it's more beautiful. And, like, You've got that's such a, a beautiful way of speaking, <laughs> analyzing things, putting things in there, and yeah, analogies. Like, yeah. <laughs> as a young girl, I wished I saw more body representation in magazines. Yeah. Because as a young girl, you look at the models in the magazines dreaming of becoming a model, but you don't see someone your size and you start thinking there's something wrong with your yeah. body. Yeah. And my body is ugly because if this is beauty, why am I not being represented? Yes, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. And I mean, it was the same for me. So the reason I decided to like run ahead with activism and modeling is because I didn't have a trans role model to look up to and tell me it was okay mm. to feel those feelings. Mm. Yeah. And like what I do is I hope that like a little kid is flipping through the pages and is able to have mm. that discussion. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. I love that this is a form of activism. It's mm. not just modeling. Yeah. 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 That's, that's beautiful. Yeah. So, so it's safe to say that years back a group of three models on the couch would have looked very different but I'm happy to say that changes in visibility are coming and these three make excellent examples of conscientious young people leading the charge the change in better representation we're celebrating different shapes, colors, and identities, and that's what's real. Now, as the festive season commences, we often forget about the safety of our fur babies. So after the break, we chat to Mark and Alan from the Animal Welfare Society about how we can keep our pets safe during the fireworks celebrations. Every Thursday evening at 7.30, Winner Home gives you the chance to be a weekly winner in our live Open the Door giveaway where you get three chances to win big. Enter online now at winnerhome.tv and you automatically get entered into the grand prize competition where you could win a fully decorated apartment at the Part of Play Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West valued at over 3 million rand. The lucky winner will also get to choose which of the apartments beautifully decorated by our three competing duos they want to call home. Do you prefer the glamorous design aesthetic of Team R&K? Would you choose the Afrolicious style of Team Contrast Control? Does the permaculture of the perma peeps speak your design language? Best of all, it doesn't matter which apartment you choose because all three have a spectacular view of the golf course and the mountains. Winner Home, Thursdays at 7.30pm on SABC3 with a repeat on Saturday at 3pm. The stage is yours.
Create a stir this summer with Nola Mayonnaise and Afternoon Express. Every Thursday, the lovely Lucia Mtiane and the lazy Makoti join us in the loft to create a stir and show us how to add a creamy twist to your favorite dishes. When you SMS NOLA to 33650 for the week's recipe, you're also entered into the grand prize draw to win an LG InstaView fridge worth 35,000 Rand. Winning has never tasted so good. Whiskers, feed their curiosity. Welcome back to Afternoon Express on SABC3, where the stage is yours. It's that time of the year when celebrations that traditionally include firework displays are about to happen. While most firework displays are restricted to designated areas, they can still affect your fur babies. Now, Alan Perrins and Mark Levendale from the Animal Welfare Society South Africa are in studio to give us some tips about how to comfort your pets during these celebrations. A very critical time today being Guy Fawkes, of course. So welcome to the show. Thank you so much for coming through to the loft. Thank you. And basically, you. we want to touch base on what a night like tonight mm. entails. We know that loud bangs often give our pets frights, but what else is it about fireworks that truly do trigger stress in our pets? I think it's a combination of things. It's definitely the noise mm. and random flashes associated with fireworks. Animals are quite traumatized and terrified of, um, you know, yeah. uh, the flashes associated with a number of the fireworks. So it's a combination of things. And I think that leads to a lot of trauma in respect of a lot of pets uh, who have not been sensitized to that um, sort of phenomenon. That kind of fright, mm. yes. And they I'm sure the fright. lights falling out of the sky is a bit overwhelming for some pets. Yeah, absolutely. And it causes them to engage their flight mode, which is what mm. makes it so dangerous. So very often animals will try and escape the perceived danger and in doing so, put themselves in harm's way. Yeah, and Mark, as the senior inspector, having a night like tonight, which is Guy Fox, everyone is in high spirits and celebrating. What does a night like tonight look like for you? Well, again, firstly, thanks for the opportunity to be here. Um, already we have a team in place. So ideally it, it is to be available this mm. evening. Availability is very crucial for us. So in the event of an emergency, um, we would have relevant contact numbers available, landline, as well as a cell phone number. Yes. Um, but it, it's essentially just to be available and to respond to those calls. Um, ideally, we would want to be available in terms of having those animals that have injuries mm. to bring them to our facility. As I said, we're on standby, we're on alert, and we're running through the night, so whatever calls come in, we would either respond to mm. or ask the owners, bring your animals to our facility, we have a team on hand, Yes. to assess and to treat those necessary injuries. And Mark, another very important point is that you did say that you guys are available 24-7, 24 hours um, in today uh, for people to phone and call. So if you guys Correct. want to get a hold of Mark and the Animal Welfare Society, all their details will be up on afternoonexpress.co.za and right. they'll be able to contact you if they find their pets in any Absolutely. kind of distress. Yeah. But um, Alan... Now you're, you, these things are happening. People aren't really going to stick to some designated areas, unfortunately, yeah. to enjoy their fireworks. Mm. If you find your pet is in a bit of a heightened fright stage, what are some of the tips and skills that we can apply to calm your pet down? Um, I don't know if I've heard some people speaking about tranquilizers. Is that not harmful to the pet? There are, there are sedatives that one can uh, give your pet. Some of them are homeopathic. Um, and it would always be a good idea to consult with a vet before giving any form of, of sedation. Yeah. I think uh, practical tips, if you can stay at home, if you, you, know, if you suspect yeah. that fireworks are going to be being let off in close proximity to where you live, mm. stay at home, close the windows, close the doors, draw the curtains, put some calming music on. Yeah. And uh, this morning on the way to work, I actually heard a radio interview where somebody said reggae music works well. Really? Yeah. Some Bob so, Marley? Some Bob Marley. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so put some music on, uh, give them some uh, comforting toys and yeah. other objects uh, that make them feel at home. If you have to go out, mm. then, um, you know, definitely make sure that their welfare and well-being is being taken care of. Back and at home, uh, make yes. sure that they are uh, given things that they're familiar with. Um, I've seen, in actual fact, just before coming onto, onto the show this afternoon, yes. uh, a, a dog had been injured, um, almost impaled in a fence. Oh. Um, the kids next door were letting off fireworks and the dog 
was absolutely terrified, traumatized, and tried to escape the danger, jumped yes. over the fence, didn't quite make it, and injured itself quite severely. So the dangers are very real. Mm. Um, and, and that's I, such a traumatizing story, I can only imagine. So these are the kinds of stories we want to stay away from. Absolutely. We want to keep it very safe for our fur babies mm. because we know that we wouldn't want to be placed in danger. So we shouldn't exactly. do it to our pets. Yeah. Very important. Thank Absolutely. you so much for coming through to Afternoon Express and enjoy the evening. All the best to you Thank in the you communities so that you're going to be inspected. Thank you. Appreciate Perfect. It. Now I know that Baxter and Donuts will be safely tucked away at home, but please remember, as a pet owner, it is your responsibility to keep your pets comfortable and safe during these celebrations. Well, now that Jeannie and I have gotten our ovaries under control, we're about to rile them up again because later on, uh, Vivaldo and uh, his dad perform for us in the loft. And also we head back to the kitchen. Clem's got a nice peanut butter surprise something something for us. We'll be right back. Don't go away. They're cute, they're cuddly, and they're TV stars. Baxter and Donut, the adorably fluffy four-legged members of the Afternoon Express family, are sharing their daily adventures on social media. To see what Baxter and Donut get up to behind the scenes, follow the adventures of Baxter and the adventures of Donut on Instagram. Moving out? Need more room? Scaling down? Private property is a great place to start your search. With thousands of new properties from South Africa's top real estate agents, banks, developers and homeowners. It's the easiest way to find your next home. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Search privateproperty.co.za Enter the Winner Home competition on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance to win a brand new, fully decorated apartment at Parterflay Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties, worth over three million rand. Clover Good Hope Soy Milk. Soy goodness, naturally. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express and I hope you're having a gorgeous Monday and a great start to the week. Now a chilled and refreshing drink to combat the Monday blues would be a Clover Good Hope Soy Milk Peanut Butter Brittle Shake. Mm. This guilty pleasure drink is a great dairy-free summer recipe for the hot days. And of course, to have this recipe ready at hand for when you need it, SMS Clover to 33650. SMSs are one round fifty each and free SMSs do not apply. I need this, this Monday, Clem. I need it. Food yeah, I know. People have been snacking from this, like, my, my peanut brittle's gone, one ice cream scoop is gone. What? Who Who's did that? Who's doing that? Who did that? I, I wonder. I have no idea. <laughs> All right. It's so there's an amazing me. place in Cape Town in Athlone. I won't say the name right now. Mm -hmm. That makes something called nutty milk. Okay? So I'm guessing they've got milk, condensed milk, and, like, toasted almonds in there. Nutty milk. It's definitely yeah. almond milk. Yeah, but it's, it's more than that. It's, it was it was there before, like, the whole health craze started. Okay. It's delicious, it's Sounds sweet, amazing. and it's nutty. Today, I'm going to make a version of this. Yeah. Because people can't go there and get it because they have lactose in there, of course, right? We're going to go with this one. We're going to go for a soy version right now. Are you ready for it? So mm -hmm. easy. I've got some in the pot ready, busy warming up. I'm going to add some more. 
just to kind of like temper it down a bit. Okay. That's gonna come up to temperature. So now yeah. for the sweetness, I'm not gonna add any sugar to it and I'm not gonna add any condensed milk, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add peanut brittle. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I actually really do like Me the taste too. of Me too, I love the flavor of it, Ooh. it's delicious. So the sweetness is in here and the nuttiness as well. Yeah. So you add that in, what happens is as the milk heats up, the caramel, which is holding the brittle together, Amazing. starts melting, sweetens it, and then the nuts kind of just like fall apart. Okay, and Stunning. they end up just hanging out. I'm and gonna keep that. you get the nuttiness. The nuttiness comes through. So then what you do is you put it in the fridge, chill it down like I've got over here, chill down nicely. Is that all that that is? The yeah, soy and peanut butter? There's okay. some nuts at the bottom, but I wanna add more for like extra crunch. Okay. Just like that. And very, very simple. First blitz is to break it all up. Yeah. Done. Easy peasy. Then, I was gonna say, take 200 grams of ice cream. Now 150 <laughs> grams of ice cream. That's fine. Just I didn't realize that was for the recipe. I honestly just thought that was there for me. Do you think I'd be leaving snacks out all day for the... Why do you not leave snacks I out do. all day for me? I it's actually seriously. do, tell the truth. After all this time. <laughs> <laughs> lactose-free ice cream going in. Is it the lactose-free? It is the lactose-free one. Oh, delicious. Which is also delicious. I think that they come a long way with like creating yeah. alternatives to normal dairy. This does not taste, like I just had no. it now and it tastes exactly, it tastes completely normal. My favorite ice cream, chocolate ice cream with the whole entire world is a lactose-free really? chocolate ice cream. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, taste. This is gonna be so good. You're making my Monday clear. <laughs> okay. Done, cool. It's that simple. It's really, really, really addictive. Peanut, peanut anything is oh, delicious. I'm nuts about peanuts. There we go, try that and let me know. Okay. And of course, paper straws, because we're saving the environment. Absolutely. It's crazy. You haven't added any other, and that it's amazing how much that peanut brittle, brittle sweetness yeah. is. Essentially, you can do it without the oh. ice cream, and it'd be a two-ingredient drink. Let me tell you, this would have been my dream coming home from school. Yeah. And this there's is... nuts protein. Oh, How's yes. the oaks? The oaks can have it. The oaks can have it. This is good for you if you lift, brew. That's the drink. <laughs> this will be a really great drink to have in the evenings when you get home from a busy day or from school or just to deal with stress. Now, remember to SMS the keyword Clover to double three six five zero to get this recipe sent to you. And if you need a little reminder of how to make it, watch this. Made with love by Clover. Clem is killing it with all these smoothies and shakes. I can't wait to have some of that peanut brittle smoothie later. Now after our break, the break, this, our special guests Lindor and Vivaldo perform Live in the Loft. Clover Good Hope Soy Milk. Soy goodness naturally. Made with love by Clover. This coming Thursday on Win a Home, the competition gets cooking as the design duos start creating the heart of their home. With some of the most ambitious collaborations yet, will their designs be a recipe for success or will it all go up in flames? Well, we all about pushing boundaries, honey. The highlights of the space is going to be this unit here. Yes, yes. That's that is wild. Catch the design drama on Win a Home Thursdays at 7:30 p.m. on SABC3, with a repeat on Saturday at 3 p.m. The stage is yours. We're now home, proudly brought to you by Capitec and Private Property, with Samsung products designed for your connected lifestyle. Grand prize luxury penthouse apartment by Bowen Properties. Made with love. 
sweetness naturally. Made with love by Clover. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. Enter the Winner Home competition by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning a fully decorated apartment at Pardaflay Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties worth over 3 million rand. Plus, you'll automatically be entered into the weekly draw where this coming Thursday night, you could walk away with the Samsung Top Freezer Combi Refrigerator with Digital Inverter Compressor, Twin Cooling Plus and Smart Conversion. And if that's not enough, Capitec clients stand a chance to win a further 5,000 Rand in cash. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Win a home every Thursday evening at 7.30 on SABC3. The stage is yours. Welcome back to the cutest thing you are yet to see this Monday. Now, Lindo yes. and Valdo, you guys are so cute. How is it like collaborating with your son? I know the song that you're about to perform is called Inkizio, so that's a yes. love song. Yes. But collaborating with a little nunky pie, yeah, he's, he's actually my number one fan. Uh, this is my song, Titan Kizio. I'm signed under my better production, featuring my boy Utoto. So mm. he is going to be killing his verse. <laughs> yeah, I, I, heard, I heard him perform a little earlier when he was in sound check, yeah. and this boy knows what he is doing behind the mic. He's going to drop his single soon. Very soon. He's also yes. got a single coming yes, up? Yes, it's ready. It's ready. Well, then, if he's ready, I'm ready. <laughs> Not only is Ulindo a terrific father, but he's also a talented dancer who's performed all over the world. He burst onto this music scene as a member of the successful Guaito group, The Teddy Bears. And today, he'll be performing his very own single called Inquisio alongside Vivaldo. Take it away, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Kini <laughs> 
that you were so focused and you were in your zone. How does it feel like to perform with your dad? It's nice. It's, it's nice. nice. <laughs> but I can see how it's proud you are. I love it's it so much. It's it's well. in Ketil. Yes. Okay, Ketil. Ketil. Oh my God, what is it? But he's so focused when he performs. He doesn't miss a beat. He doesn't miss his cue. When it's his turn, he, he's there. He is like, oh. 
Like, it's, it's amazing. It's just, it's overwhelming what just happened right now. Yeah. Oh. yeah it's actually our first time performing it live really? on TV. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's our first That's time great. performing it. And thank you for choosing Afternoon Express, of course. You guys are the best. Oh. But how did you discover that he, that he had this little vibe with your music? Like, were you rehearsing and then did you see him just catching on to what you were doing? Every time when I'm driving, when I play my music, he'll always sing along. Yeah. Like, sometimes you'll hear a song once, the next day, the next day he's singing it. I'm like, ah, already? Like, how do you know this song? <laughs> yeah. You know, so he's a very That's amazing you guys. Uh, musician, a young musician, and yeah. he's gonna drop his own single soon. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's yes. Great. yes. Well, I'm sure yes. we're all yes. looking very much forward to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't follow and I'm going Instagram. Don't follow. Okay. <laughs> Bonnie, you can be the so 11th follower. <laughs> 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 so cute. Thank you so much for being on the show. It was absolutely wonderful having you here. And thank you so much for joining us. It was a really wonderful show. And we're so pleased yeah. to be in your living rooms every afternoon. Until tomorrow, good night and God bless. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>